we're just gonna have all-purpose flour. Okay. Save a little bit for dusting. All right. Um, we have hot water. Okay. And then we're gonna have our sweet potato puree. Okay. Puree is just boiled sweet potato. So we're just boiling peeled sweet potatoes. And then, uh, yes. Yeah, like a baked potato. Like a baked, like, like you're making mashed potatoes. Okay. Yeah, and then we'll just puree it in a uh, food processor by hand. Okay. Um, and then we're just gonna mix this together. So like you put nothing else in it. So nothing, it's no flour, salt, warm nothing. water. That's it, okay. Flour, hot water, and sweet potatoes. Okay. And so we'll just stir the dough up. What screams out to me, Brad, and I know you're saying it too, is that color of the sweet potatoes, that orange is just, it's just like it's, breathtaking. Yeah, it is, and it, and it you know, it, I think it's one of those products that's super identifiable by its color, right? The right. garnet yams are, are something that everybody knows. Uh, so now we have kind of a shaggy mass here of, of, of dough and, and sweet potato puree. Yes. So we're just gonna form it into a ball. Okay. And once we do that, we'll get in there with our hands. Um, and so, see it's starting to come together. It it's sure nice is. and orange. Um, and as it picks up the rest of that flour, we'll be able to move over to the, the cutting board here and, okay. and kind of knead it by hand um, once we're formed a, a really legit dough here. That's really nice. So that should be good. So we'll move over to the dough, the, the cutting board here. Okay. And as this, you know, it develops into, um, kind of knead it like, you know, if anybody's made pasta dough by hand. Yes. Um, same kind of thing. So we just want to keep kind of folding it over itself and kneading it into place. And what we do want to do, make sure that we do is knead this until it gets really smooth. The outside will get real tight, real smooth. <clears throat> because we're we're making dumplings, so we're going to stretch that dough. So we want to make sure that gluten development. The, I was just going to say. There. So yeah. you're putting the air into the gluten right now, right. which makes it that stretchy, elastic. Right. So it okay. won't break on us while we're forming the dumplings. Okay. And so we'll go for a little while. The dough will come together, and uh, and then what we can do is let it rest. We want to let it rest so that gluten relaxes a little bit. We can portion it. Okay. And then we're going to cut it into one ounce dough balls. I'm going to ask you about resting it. Are we resting it at room temperature in the fridge? Room temperature is great. Um, we just want to cover it up a little bit okay. so that we doesn't get a, it doesn't form a skin on the outside. All right. Um, and so here we have the. Oh, we're going to make those. Now. We're going to make them. Okay. Um, do we need the cutting board for that one? I don't think so. I think we. Well, yeah. Let's. let's, let's you want to do it, it on yeah, that? Let's okay. Do it on the cutting board. So we got a little floured surface there already. We'll take these one ounce dough balls. Yeah. We're going to make sure we got a little bit of flour on them. Okay. And we'll take a rolling pin. Okay. And we'll roll them out just like this. So that they're nice, kind of four inch. Like little pancakes. Little pancakes, exactly. If you ever bought wonton wrappers or dumpling wrappers, you know, they kind of, they tend to come this way. And you know, I know it's easy to buy them, but you can't, I don't think you can find sweet potato. Oh no. no There's no, no chance. I don't think so. No. And it didn't take that, it really wasn't that hard. It's not hard at all. And there's such a difference between fresh dumpling dough, and even regular, even though you just make it with flour and water between the stuff you, you buy. They yeah. stick together better, they taste better, the texture on them is awesome. So now we're gonna work on the filling. Okay. So uh, we'll take uh, some oil. This All is right. just plain canola oil. All so right. we don't want anything super flavorful. We want a good amount, we wanna make sure our pan is screaming hot, we can see it smoking there. Yes. We're gonna add um, scallions, ginger and garlic. Okay. And I have to tell you, I always get nervous when the pan's that hot and I throw scallions in there. I'm afraid it's gonna burn. It's gonna burn up. It, it, it should be good. When you have, you wanna use a high-sided pan, okay. um, good amount of oil. We have uh, shiitake mushrooms. Yes. Uh, this is a pickled sweet potato. Ooh. So just little potatoes soaked in rice vinegar and sugar, like we talked about before. So we're gonna saute those up until they're nice and, uh, until they're nice and kind of caramelized and, and whatnot. Okay. We get a lot of flavor. It'll, it'll smell up the whole kitchen. You'll get all the ginger and garlic. You also get the shiitake mushrooms, the savoriness of it. Right. And then we're going to add um, a fermented black garlic puree. I love that. So the, the black garlic is something that, you know, the way it's made, it's salted, and then it's right. left to sit out in the sun for like 90 days, and it slowly caramelizes. It's not really fermented. It's very slowly caramelizes until the sulfur turns it black. Oh. So we're going to add a little bit of that black garlic puree. So now we have all our aromatics in there, we're gonna add some ground chicken. Okay. So we, uh, we got about four ounces of ground chicken here, we're making a small batch of this. And we're just gonna caramelize, um, caramelize that chicken. And just, you want me to, Brad's putting me to work yeah. right now. We just I, wanna cook the chicken, not wow. super heavy, but all that smell is What just, is that? Awesome. Is the mushrooms or, I don't know, it's just so fantastic. The mushrooms, garlic, it's, it's the black garlic. 
garlic. Yeah. Um, you know, the black garlic is such a cool, sweet flavor. Right. So we're gonna add our last couple ingredients. We have um, our Napa cabbage. Okay. And then this is a mixture of rice vinegar and soy sauce. Oh, nice. So we're just gonna deglaze with a little bit of that. You don't use a lot of salt. No, I mean I, we I, use a lot of. I mean to flavor, but. Yeah, we use a lot of ingredients that have you know soy sauces and fish sauces. Yeah. They have those, those those natural salts in them, um, you know, and they're often. Um, kind of preserved that way, and so that's that's kind of that's what, what we like. what we uh, use to flavor all of our food. So once we get this all mixed together and the cabbage wilts, we can shut it down. Okay. So we just want the cabbage to wilt, and then we want to get it cold. We want to cool it down before we fill it into the dumpling. Oh, understood. Okay. We'll take a little bit of the the dumpling filling. Okay. And we're gonna just fill a good size amount, about a about an ounce, a little over a tablespoon. Okay. Um, into each one. And then, are we just going to wrap them? So we're going to take, we're going to make a, a kind of a, a cross. So we're going to pinch them across this way and see how that fresh dumpling dough just pinches together so it easily. It does. It's like a taco. And then we're going to grab the unfolded side mm -hmm. and we'll bring that to the middle as well. So we make a... Okay, I didn't do it as well as you did. We'll make a... Uh, <laughs> you're close. I'm going to fake mine. I'm going to, like, after the fact. Pinch it that way. Which way? This way. Just like that. See, you intimidated me. If I were, ah, but did. but but that's how it would look if I did it. I'm good. Honest. Yeah. Look at that. Yours is much much nicer. So then we have a bamboo steamer going. Okay. So we're gonna take our our dumplings, and we're gonna steam them for about ten minutes. Okay. Um, so and that's all here. the dough needs is ten minutes. Yeah, about ten minutes. We'll get the filling hot and all of that stuff. Okay. Oh no, that's nice. See that beautiful sweet potato color. I, um, I'm telling you, I'm I'm so in love with the color of these sweet potatoes. Even the white ones are beautiful, but this orange and this purple is just lovely. It's beautiful. It makes you want to eat them, and I think that's what's so important is we eat with our eyes first. Absolutely. So we want to do this. And so you know, a lot of dumplings you come with a dipping sauce or something like that. These don't need that because we have all that flavor in there. We have the pickled sweet potato. We have the the shiitake mushrooms and the black garlic, they're just kind of a flavorful bite. So I like to serve them just really kind of fresh. Okay. And so here we have some more herbs from our garden. So this is lemon verbena. It's gonna add a cool citrusy note to it. Um, we have uh, shiso, we have um, cilantro. cilantro. These are uh, bachelor button flowers. Oh, how pretty. That are really pretty. Um, and then uh, these are uh, society garlic flowers. So they have a little bit of that garlicky bite that we're touching on. And then, uh, so with the last bit, we'll just kind of let it sprinkle in there. We're so lucky to have you in Sacramento and doing what you're doing. You've elevated the culinary scene. I mean, Michelin star helps, but I mean, you are, you're doing it. It's yeah, awesome. we're just tr you're trying hard it. to do good food.